Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you do go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and hit a like as well. It always is appreciated on the channel. Thank you very much. Um, anyway, onto the video. In today's video, I want to talk about Modern Warfare in general and why it's not the game we hoped it would be and why it's not as good as previous games. So I'm going to hop straight into a game shoot at 24-7 and we'll just talk with this, with you guys. Hopefully you guys agree in my opinion. It's Honestly, you'll understand as soon as I get into this. There's so many points to cover. Let's just do this. So, I was playing with a friend yesterday, um, this friend, um, he hadn't played Modern Warfare a lot, really, um, and you know, I sort of was wondering why, and you know, why not, because we played together all the way through Black Ops 4, uh, you know, we did everything, game battles, league, play, every, every time I was on Black Ops 4, he was on as well, uh, and we was playing together, and so sort of this year, I've sort of been playing on my own, never really been had anyone to play with this year, and... I was just sort of telling him about it, and he was like, it's just not the same, you know, it's just, I can't, I don't want to play this game. For all the simple facts is that, I've read multiple articles, and so had he, and he was covering that. He was telling me all about the articles he's read, and they were pretty much, probably the same ones that I had read as well. That this game rewards uh, the worst of players, um, which is true, if you didn't know, this game is built around rewarding worst players. Uh, and if you didn't know there's a feature in this game, which, well, it's not a feature, it's sort of what people do, probably the, uh, a lot of the, I would say, no one say better players, but the uh, worst of players who want to have better game plays. Uh, it's called reverse boosting. I've not done it myself. Uh, for the simple fact, my KD is bad enough in this game. Because um, this game has is, was really hard at the start for me. Basically, it's where you... Uh, there's skill-based matchmaking. So, if you, um, you know, you're know you having a couple of good games, uh, you're going to actually get matched up against better players. And then it's going to be tougher to you know do well. So let's say you have a killer, oh my god, I'm tearing them to shreds right now. Um, let's just say you have uh, a killer gameplay, you know, you've just gone 30 and 2 uh, on Shoe House, you've dropped a chopper gunner, you know, all this stuff, uh, and you're having a good time, and then the next game you go into, you get absolutely slapped. Um, this could have possibly have happened to you, it's happened to me, uh, and it's literally... Oh my god, I'm going to die. I really thought I was trying to listen out because I had through a C4 whilst I was flashed. Um, oh my... Oh shoot, no! I've placed a Vito outside of the map. Um, how did I manage that? Um, but anyway... Oh my god, that's really annoyed me. I can't even realise what I'm saying now. But, it's happened to me multiple times and that's because of skill based maps making. Which is a huge negative uh, you know, thing in this game. Can I bring the Vito over here please? Come on, I think I've wait, wait, I think I've brought it over. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. But anyway, um, it's happened to me a lot of times, and it's super annoying. It sort of does kill the vibe. Um, on the game, you know, you, you don't want to play after that. Like, you start getting slapped. And then if you have a couple of bad games, uh, it can work in a reverse effect, and then you know you'll uh, start slapping again, and all of a sudden you think you're a beast again. It's happened to me. Multiple times again, um, and that's because skill based map making just sort of even it out. So, back to uh, how it rewards the worst of players obviously, if they're having bad games, they're going to get matched up against bad games, uh, bad players to sort of stand a chance um, whilst playing the game and sort of be able to, you know, get kills and do decent and enjoy the game. Because obviously, when you're getting slapped, no one is enjoying the game, you know, it, it's a fact and it's true, it happens to everybody. Um, but the it's not that I, I can understand that I, if that was in the game I can understand that which is in the game you know I can appreciate that like I say there is ways around it if you want to play against bots you can reverse boost but in the negative to that is it's going to bring your stats down as well uh, the map layout is also built around uh, worse off players hence the reason there's so many campers hence the reason there's so many slow placed games because the maps are laid out in a way uh, where there's like so many obstacles and so, like say you've got so let's say um, I can't even do an example on this map because to be fair this map if you're if you know it does reward the better players this map you know if you can play well uh, well not as such but let's say for example the main building on Hackney Yard uh, let's just say the building on it's got the um, two like walkways on the roof and you can then you can go into the higher roof and stuff like that uh, let's say that building for example there's multiple ways you can actually enter that building i can think of four just off the bat by going on the two walkways up through the main door or jumping through the window if you didn't know you can actually jump through the window off the forklift um so if someone is camping there they can be killed very easily which i like but because there's so many entrances to that building there's all, all 
also so many spots someone could be hiding and looking down on you. Um, and that's one of the reasons, because the worse the players, they play slower. Uh, obviously, to be expected, because they're not as experienced. So it's giving them a huge advantage with the camping spots, and that's why you get come across so many campers. The time to kill in this game is extremely, extremely fast, as we all know. Yeah, I'm used to it now, but it's still super duper fast. Uh, the headshot multiplier is sky high, so if the worst player, obviously, they're not going to be able to hit as many headshots. Um, they're going to kill you. You know, when they do get headshot, they're going to kill you more or less instantly, just so they can achieve the headshot. Um, and it's super annoying. I mean, if you're not as good on this game, then obviously you're going to struggle at the start. But if you really, obviously, whether you're bad or not, you're still going to enjoy the game. If you like the game, you like the game. Because we've all been there, you know, the first Call of Duty game we played, or the first two or three, uh, for my sake. I was awful at Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, and uh, Modern Warfare 3. I was incredibly, incredibly awful. And I would get slapped up every single game. Um, and it just takes that little bit of perseverance and eventually you will improve and you'll enjoy the game even even more than you already did. And that's the way I think it should be. Uh, and I feel like that's the way Black Ops 4 was. If someone was good on Black Ops 4, you absolutely knew about it. I'm using Black Ops 4 as an example because it's the m more recent game which I'm sure a lot of you uh, will have played. Um, I'm probably going to die here. I thought like bouncing bet has made me super weak. Oh my god, you're going to get absolutely destroyed. Um... Obviously, uh, if someone's good on that, you knew about it, and if you was bad, you knew about it as well. And the way the maps are designed just really does reward players. I know you might not, as you're listening to this, realise, but if you next time you hop on and you just go into the standard uh, playlist and look at the maps, you will understand exactly what I mean. You'll get killed by campers, and you can understand they're the worst off players. Um, I'm not saying if you camp, you're a bad player. Uh, well, I'm going to say you are, actually, because it's super annoying. But <clears throat> it is what it is. Uh, and that's the way this game's been designed, and it really is a downfall in the game. It doesn't make you want to play it as much because it's annoying the way you die. I've, I've like the 725 shotgun was nerfed. I think it's been nerfed three times, and it's still the most overpowered gun in the game. Um, and you don't even have any, need any skill to play with that thing. It's a double barrel shotgun. I would have thought it would have took some skill. It's got only two bullets to do well with that. I can understand. You know, it's got to be powerful. It's going to one hit up close. I can get that, but it's beaming people still. And I don't know, I just really do think this game is just built for the newer players and I don't agree with it whatsoever. Okay guys, I am back in the lobby now. Uh, one last thing is the DLC as well. The DLC in this game was top, we were told we were going to be free, which I presume is the maps will be still be free. Um, but obviously, obviously no, we've got the Battle Pass, I spoke about it before and why I do not like the Battle Pass. I've maxed the Battle Pass out as you can see. I've got everything unlocked and it wasn't worth it at all. I paid the money for it and stuff. It wasn't worth it at all just to show you guys not to buy it. Um, so I think that can definitely be improved. The game itself, the minimap and stuff aren't in the game still, um, which is annoying and I think they still need to be in the game. The camo challenges, which I spoke about in the previous video, need to be changed or the camos themselves need to be changed to make it more worthwhile. There's still so many things wrong with this game. If I hop out of the thing, I've not actually played Spec Ops, but I've, played, I've tried to play the campaign four times. Uh, I've got maybe like two hours into it. And every single time I've gone back into it, it's made me start it again. Restart the whole thing. So I don't want to touch that anymore. I really wanted to play the campaign as well. I really enjoyed what I played. And I thought, oh, I'll leave it there. I'll come off for a bit. Come back on. If I had to start again. And that super is annoying. There's still so many things wrong with this game. And it's really getting me down. To be fair, I want to see what they're going to do with league play and stuff like that. Add that into the game. I wish it was in the game now. Um, still something else we're waiting for. Hopefully it does uh, get added in when the Call of Duty season does start. But anyway guys, I'm going to have to end the video here, so if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more Daily Call of Duty content, then again, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.